Serious, how did you respond after your ex wanted you back after leaving you? I told her I can't be with her again after knowing how she really feels about me. Then she started crying and saying she couldn't stand me being alone without her and for some reason this made me really upset. All I could say was is, why are you crying? I will be fine without you. This is what you wanted. Currently sitting on the back burner myself. Was told he's just seeing what things are like without me but he knows he'll be back for me. Oh I'm sorry, I hadn't realized I was plan B. Thank you for 6 years of being a safety net for you. Don't mean to hurt you my butt. Ran into my ex a couple months after she broke it off with me for someone else. We ran into each other at a bar. She approached me while I was buying drinks and made some comment about the girl I was there with. She then said something like, if it doesn't work out or you get bored with her hit me up. I laughed and said okay. She asked if I was being sarcastic. I was. And walked away after that. My wife left me for a fat neo-nazi skinhead M dealer. It was definitely a blow to my ego. We had just moved to a new state and I had just started a new job. It took me about 6 months to get my crap together and quit beating myself up. I had become a star employee at the job. Lost 20 pounds. Got custody of the kids and a new GF. About a year goes by and the GF and I break it off. It wasn't an angry breakup I just didn't have a ton of time for her since I had my kids. Well my ex-wife finds out we broke up. She comes strolling over to my place while the kids are at school. Breaks open a bag of chips. And starts rattling off a list of a bunch of things I need to change about myself if I want to get back together with her. A few moments passes silence. I laugh. Open my door and tell her to get out. The look on her face. Crushed expectations? Failed dreams? I still laugh when I think about it. But I like the cut of your jib. Actually laughs in his face. He was at my place picking up his furniture at the time as he was moving to his new place with a girl he cheated on me with. Why he thought that was the best time to discuss trying to rekindle our relationship I'll never know. As he was moving to his place with a girl he cheated on me with. I do not understand his thought process. My girlfriend and I had a great laugh at the text my ex send. I know you don't want to be with her. Come back to me I love you. She broke up with me due to her cheating on me. Text came 6 months later. If you both have iPhones, just press space and never respond. She broke up with me sort of out of the blue, and I wasn't really prepared for it. Never quite got over her, but time passed, and I was living with a girlfriend several years later. My ex had kept in touch with me, and we were still friendly. She went through a breakup and I suppose she was emotionally vulnerable. Started talking to me a lot out of the blue and began to tell me all sorts of things about how she regretted breaking up with me. And it was just immature insecurities that had led her to it, and how jealous she was that she couldn't have me. As flattering as it was to hear all of that, I was still spoken for, so I kindly deflected the issue until she got her head on straight and mellowed out, got her life together, that sort of thing. We're still friends 7 years after that, and presumably, she's moved on. At least I hope she has since she's looking at buying a house with her fiancé. Told her to frick off. She put me through heck then found somebody better. When he dumped her not even a month later, she tried to rekindle our relationship. She has yoke on her face or whatever that saying is. Egg on her face. Her. Can we talk? Me. You're okay. Her. He cheated on me. You're my only friend in the area. Me. You don't have any friends in the area. I did a lot for her to get her life started. She slept fricked with some mutual friend in my bed while I was at work. Frick that noise. Me. You don't have any friends in the area. Stone fricking cold. We dated for 3 years in high school. I was 19 at the time we broke up. We were broken up for 6 months. I took her back for about 2 weeks. When my dad noticed she was coming around again, he gave me the best advice I have ever gotten. My dad told me don't sleep with her until you are 100% sure she is clean and not pregnant. For once, I listened to my dad's advice. Turns out she was a little over a month pregnant, not showing at all, and was planning on pinning it on me. I'll never forget her crying I thought you loved me enough for this not to matter. 
As I kicked her out of me, kicked her out of me, it hurt terribly. I did love her. But Jesus, I was only 19 and in college. No thanks, I'll find another. Plus in that 6 months we were apart, I met the best group of friends a guy could ask for, which really made it that much easier now that I knew there was life beyond that one girl. Ro, dodge a huge bullet there man. Dads are the best. My ex only wanted me back when I told him I was going to go on a date with someone else. This was after he had 12 affairs in the span of our 8 year relationship then left me seemingly at random. He cried and threatened to kill himself. I was very calm and gentle with him, and told him I would like us to keep being friends, as we had been in the last 6 months since he dumped me, he kept telling me I was the best person on the planet, and that no one but him would ever make me happy or treat me right, <laughs> then he punched my bed frame, I said I wasn't going to compromise my happiness for his, which I had done for many years, and he blatantly asked me to just pretend, and said I'd never winged about my happiness before, and he couldn't believe that I was so selfish, and I was half the person he thought I was. He cried some more. For the first time in my life, I stuck to my guns. Then he called me a W. Jokes on him. Went out with the other guy. Fell madly in love. Am now deliriously happy. Ex's next girlfriend cheated on him. Ah, the classic emotional manipulation. So glad you got out of that. I was bitter for a few months but we became alright friends and hung out hooked up when I was back from college on break. I think we both knew that it wasn't going to work and just took the mutual attraction for what it was. We're still on alright terms but have drifted apart since. Horrified. I couldn't put myself through that pain all over again, knowing there was a good chance he would change his mind again and leave for a second time. Plus I was resentful that he'd be hook up with me because he didn't want to deal with a medical issue I had. Someone that bails at the first sign of weakness is not a good candidate to build a life with. Comma someone that bails at the first sign of weakness is not a good candidate to build a life with. You are very smart to realize this. Ran into her at a bar after 6 months of no contact while she was out with some other dude. Almost ran away from her. Had that flight response for sure. She grabbed my arm and said please talk to me. Chatted with her for 5 minutes. Left her and went to another bar and then got home where she called me and we talked till 4am. Next afternoon agreed to hang out with her and she was all over me and I was holding back. Dropped her off at her place and by some miracle didn't bang her as she got completely naked and kissing me all over. She was a smoking hot blonde with a lot of crazy. Went home to ice the boys down. Next morning I get a collared call from the county jail. It was her asking for a ride. After I left she got into a fight with her mom and assaulted her. Picked her up and told her that I can't ever hang out with you like that ever again. She nodded and I dropped her off. Kept in touch with her since I think I was the only guy who cared for her but didn't want sex out of her for the next 6 months. She told me she was going to move to the west coast one day and I agreed to hang out with her the night before she left. She ended up crying all over me as I was dropping her off, saying how much she loved me and messed up and how she didn't ever want to lose me in her life. I promised her that I'd always be there for her. While she was on the west coast we ended up talking on the phone on a daily basis, quite frequently. She was a great friend. One morning on the way to work I realized I didn't hear from her the night before. I called her phone and it was disconnected and I find it odd but didn't think too much of it. Get home from work and I get a phone call from a friend who was friends with her mutual friends on Facebook as I never friended her on Facebook after our breakup saying dude she died. She overdosed on too much booze and pills. He didn't realize that I was still talking to her on a daily basis. Freaking floored me. I thought back to that night at that bar and how I would have missed out on the last year of her life if I had ran out instead of actually talking to her and just being there for her. Sometimes no matter how or why they left you, it's not a bad thing to just be there for someone. I wish I could have been there more somehow. Maybe she would still be here. It sounds like you're a great friend. Don't blame yourself. We started talking on the phone regularly again and planning a visit. We were 2 hours apart, and then I went to Ray Adam as a friend on Facebook and found out he had a girlfriend. So like the classy lady I am, I drank 2 oldie English 800s, called him up, and scream cried at him until he started crying too. Then he moved to another country and I met my husband. Him. I don't even remember why we broke up, 
Me. I believe you dumped me because a girl fell asleep on you and you dumped me to ask her out. And she said no. Him oh yeah. Me. Yeah. Anyway nice talking bye bye. I do have to commend him for breaking up with you before going for someone else. While a douche and an idiot. He's an honest one. Seemingly. LOL. To this day. She still hasn't replied. But she had a kid since I sent that text. And that was about 7 years ago. She broke up with me because I got glasses and wasn't attractive enough for her. Few years later and I'm wearing contacts and had grown into myself a little better and suddenly she's texting me again. Ironic thing is she was recently single because she gained weight and her BF didn't find her attractive anymore. I just laughed at the schadenfreude and told her to stop contacting me. That must have felt amazing. I was the ex that called back. Long story short, we were dating for about 3 years, I didn't feel like I was ready to commit to marrying her and she wanted to get married. She gave me an ultimatum. I broke up with her. I missed her terribly. So I call her 6 months later. She agrees to meet. We get married a year later. 15 years and 3 kids later we are still happy together. I told her I had to think about it, and that maybe we could just be friends. Then we got together for some kisses, and we were back at it again. I ended up breaking up with her about 6 months later. When she broke up with me, we were out and about, and I had to drive her home. It was a little awkward, and I wasn't saying anything. She assumed I was raging mad and suicidal, and that I was about to drive the truck into a tree. If that tells you anything about her crazy level, I wasn't. I was kind of relieved actually. She sent a friend to check up on me about a month into our breakup, because she was still under the impression that I was suicidal following her dumping me. I told her friend that my ex shouldn't flatter herself thinking I was suicidal over her. I guess those were the magic words, because she was asking for me back within about 2 weeks. I'm glad that relationship's over. An ex-girlfriend of mine cheated on me multiple times and I kept taking her back. Eventually I realized I had to completely cut her off. I drilled it into my head that we were meant to be together. She was from my hometown. Lived right down the street from me but we didn't meet for 20 years in a totally different city. I took that as a sign. We had to be together. After all that I met my wife who treats me like a real person and genuinely loves me. I thought I loved my ex girlfriend, friend, but I had no idea what love really was till I met my wife. First time, I heard him out and said yes. Second time, I let him talk his head off and realize himself that he didn't want to actually be with me and nothing about him had changed, and then I said no. Well it was more or less a mutual agreement. A year later we started talking again and she said she'd like to start again. It went this way. Me. Do you really think there's any chance for this to work out? Her. Yes. Why not? Me. Give me one reason to believe that. Her. Legend says she's still thinking. After dumping me, he admitted to having feelings for someone else. When he said he wanted me back a week later, I told him no. He cried a bit and said he loved me and that he didn't know what he had until it was gone. Blah blah blah. I asked him about her and he declined having feelings for her. Sure enough. Four days later he dumped me again and began dating her. She told me appreciated the way I treated her. That when she looked back, I was good to her and deserved better. She should have worked on the relationship and she missed my friendship. She said I was a good person to be with. I texted back that my current girlfriend agrees. It was a Friday night when she asked to meet up at the local mall. I ended up picking up a game. Castlevania. My love. While we were there. We ended up going back to house and watching movies. She ended up asking if I would be willing to be her boyfriend again. I said yes. Despite my instincts telling me not to. That night. I ended up going tobogganing with a group of friends. I ended up smashing through a fence and don't remember much of the night. Ended up with a concussion. Long hospital visit blah blah. Anyways, she calls me the next day and the biggest bullshitter on the world took over my body. Before she could even speak I was yelling into the phone. Whoa long time no talk what have you been up to? She was chit chatty and asked about my day. I told her I got a new game and a concussion the night before. And that's all I remember. She cried on the phone and insisted we spent the day together. But I insisted how crazy and unlike me that was. TL. DR. 
Don't cheat on a man who is prone to injuries. P.S. What was the last thing you ended up? This belongs in our pater revenge. When my most recent ex tried to get back with me I noped to that post haste. Nearly 6 years together, and she suddenly dropped me to move to take a job. For about a month she kept contacting me, disparaging everything about our relationship, and trying to goad me to rage on her. Then one day I get a text from her that she got fired, and she tried to slide back into my life like nothing happened as she moved back. No freaking way. I learned about a week ago she got another good job and moved again. I imagine if I had taken her back she would have dumped me again for that job. She probably would've. Not positive she was explicitly trying to get back with me, but about a year and a half after getting out of a messy relationship with her that ended with her cheating on me she reached out to me on Facebook trying to reconnect. I was in, school library name, today and I saw someone that looked like you, are you still in, college town, can we meet up? I was not still in school at this point and had recently dropped out because I couldn't bounce back academically from the damage sustained during after the relationship. My response was an ignore and an unfriend. Followed by unfriending every person on Facebook that I hadn't talked to in the past year or so. Followed by a deactivation of said Facebook. It probably wouldn't have felt like crap in hearing from her if the previous message in the chat history wasn't the message she sent me to officially break up with me. Probably not the most mature reactions but it wasn't the most mature relationship. I told her that as much as I want to, I know that it's a bad idea. I told her that she cannot come back to me to use me as a crutch when her life goes to crap. It was painful because I loved her very much but it's very difficult to try and maintain a relationship with a bipolar. Yes, diagnosed by a doctor, not by me, who refuses to take their meds. It was ultimately the best thing for both of us. It was many years ago and I found out a few years back that she got married and has a kid. I hope she's happy and healthy. I told her it was too late and that I couldn't forget the things she had said to me at time when we broke up. One of the things she told me was that I had hurt her more than the person who had raped her when she was little. There is no going back after a statement like that. Good thing too because it turns out I'm gay so dodge a bullet there. Did not respond. It's not a good idea to fuel that fire in the slightest, or to express the slightest sympathies, else a crazy guy will basically think so you're saying there's a chance. She didn't outright ask but she made attempts to spend time with me. Her main issue was that she wanted what she couldn't have and didn't want what she did have. For literally everything. The grass was always greener. I knew she only wanted to get back together because we were apart. Easy decision not to get back together. Also she cheated and it was a horrible relationship. I actually dumped him. Two years later he tried to get back with me and I told him I wasn't interested because I was afraid it'd end up a mess like it had the first time. Well several months after that I caved. It's been two and a half years now and we're getting married in April. Guess we just had some growing up to do. I won't hurt you the same way you hurt me. My ex wanted to see new people. So I spent two years hoping he'd take me back even after he got serious with another girl. I met my current boyfriend this spring. Until after my ex found out we were dating. He told me he missed me. He said he'd wait till I was done with my current boyfriend. Nope the frick out of that one. Messaged his wife to let her know. Two children and a wife, who suspects something's wrong but doesn't have any concrete evidence, this guy had, and decided that since he just wasn't feeling it anymore, he'd try to come back to me and play it off like they were legally separated when they weren't. I don't know if he thought I was desperate or stupid, she stayed with him, which is her choice entirely, but at least she knew he tried to cheat on her. Stared at the text for 15 minutes contemplating all the sex he'll be having again and realized that she probably isn't worth it anymore and that I am happier now. Just a little true humor on topic. My sister finally filed for divorce from a man she should have divorced 15 years ago. He sighed and said I knew it was a long time coming. So now they are going through the early stages of the divorce process, but she hasn't moved out yet. Next year, in the summer of 2016, 
She's going away on an extended conference to a fun city. He was sitting in his chair the other night asking her the various details, including where are we going to stay, anything lined up. She replied well that's in June, we'll be divorced and I'll be, you know, not living here anymore. I didn't have plans for you to join me. He was incredulous and said well what difference does that make? Just because we'll be divorced doesn't mean we won't still be, you know, a couple, jeez. In fact, we'll probably get remarried one day. She said yes, dear, it does mean we won't be a couple, and no, I won't be remarrying you, and I already invited my sister to the conference in your place. She said it was the first time his face fell and he started acted like it was real, when plans no longer included him. The key is to simply cut them off cold turkey seeing them or talking to your ex will only draw you closer to them i was broken up by a girlfriend who was abusive towards me she declared our relationship over several times before and i finally decided to just not to accept her apologies anymore i slept in our apartment stairway unbeknownst to her until i was able to find a new apartment i came one last time to get my stuff and she was there she was crying and trying to hold me but I had to shrug her off against my natural instincts. After I stopped seeing her and moved out I became a much better person and sort of rediscovered myself and began to make up for the time I'd lost being in that relationship. I said yes. I was so excited. She dumped me for genuine reasons that she couldn't hold a relationship at the moment. Met a new girl who was manipulative, passive aggressive, cheating, retrospect, blah blah blah. I wasn't happy. And after a couple months it was falling apart. When my ex wanted to talk about things we decided to get back together. Long story short, ended it with the current girl for my ex. I was so happy for 3 solid months. Everything was perfect. My friends and family saw a difference. I wasn't dragging around. I felt a peace with the path my life was taking. We had big plans and I was making sure she was happy because she made me happy. Then, out of nowhere she ended it. With the same excuse, saying maybe in the future and I still love you, I'll always love you, number, it's done, and I don't think I'll ever forgive her, or want to for that matter, for dragging me through that crap, twice. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe, I publish new videos every day, until then, check another video. Bye for now.